Hey guys, it is uh, Jack.exe with Tootbag Tutorials. Um, today we are gonna be in Visual Basic 2008, creating a beeping program for your computer. This is a very simple tutorial, not very useful to be honest. Um, just makes a cool beep, but this is fun if you want to use it for a prank at uh, your friend's house or maybe Best Buy or something. You just pop it on a flash drive, go to Best Buy, freak out the Geek Squad. Anyway, let's get started. As you can see here, this is what it will look like in the end. Let's go to File, New Project. Um, let's see here. Let me close this real quick. Uh, okay, let's just call it Tutorial Beaver. That's what I'm going to call. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, click OK. Can I just resize it a bit? Right, right there. Um, let's first do the background. We're going to go over to our properties menu to be over here on the side. At the very top, background image. Click these little three dots on the side. Going to click import. We're going to go ahead and just pick any picture you want. Make sure it's a, one of these down here. Um, I have a nice stripe that I have right here. Just click OK. I shall automatically put it in your background like this. Well, this stripe is, I like this texture because you can continue on no matter how big it is. Um, you can make it where it doesn't like it doesn't just tile it can stretch and all that just change that um let's go ahead and change our text not the name keep the name form one the text we're going to change to tutorial beeper okay you can see that it automatically changed up in our thing once we did that um now let's change the icon. Now for the icon you're definitely going to need an ICO, .ico file. It says right here I have a... Uh, I will try and see if I can find the link. I'll put the link in my description to a bunch of nice icons that you can download. I'm just for the beeper. I'm gonna use. What should I use? On my other one, I'll just use this play button. Let's see, it changed right there. Okay, now let's go ahead and put some buttons in. Go over to the side. Button. Just drag one in. Call this one just beep. This will be the one beep thing. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, now we're gonna put in two more buttons. Or actually, we're gonna put in four. Okay. Line it up. Actually, change the design a bit from my other one. Okay, let's rename them. Or not the beep on these. One, two. Let's change the text to. Um, what did I call it? Let's do start slow and click on your next one. And let's do start fast and then over here on button four let's go stop all. 
Okay, let's. Uh, I forgot to. Uh, let's change some properties of our window real quick. Just click on the window again, and let's go over. Let's make sure these are minor. You don't have to do this. Is optional. Let's do the maximize box to false. This means uh, whoever's using it can't maximize it. Let's do the minimize. Let's keep minimize in case you wanna. No, actually, we're gonna take off minimize. Um, make it fix single so they can't resize it. Okay. Actually, let's add a fifth button called hide me. Okay. Now, I just pull this, drag this up so it's smaller. Um, okay, now let's get to the coding. Let's click on the beep, double click it. Okay, this should come up. Let's type console dot beep. Uh, okay, now if, let's bring, uh, let's go back to our design. Let's go down to timer. Let's go ahead and throw two timers down. Timer one, keep it. Uh, timer one is gonna be the slow, so let's keep it at 100. Timer two is gonna be the fast. So click on your timer two and click the. Make sure the interval is one. Let's go ahead and rename this timer two to fast. And timer one to slow. Okay. Now that we have console dot beep for our insta beep, let's double click on start slow, and let's type uh, slow dot start, and then go on fast. Let's do fast dot start. Okay. Let's go over to stop all, double click this, and type slow dot stop and fast dot stop. This will stop both timer timers, or both uh, st uh, slow beeping and fast beeping. Now let's double click on the slow timer. Let's type <coughs> console dot beep. Again, we're going to do the same thing for the fast timer. Okay. Now we're going to code the hide me. Okay, so double click the hide me and type in me dot hide and then um, show in taskbar all in word equals false. So this means it'll hide the program and it will not show in the taskbar so it's completely hidden. Um, let's see. I'm thinking that's it. Let's try it out real quick. Come up and click this play button. This will start the debugging. See, now it is going slower. Be sure to subscribe to us, uh, Tote Bags. We are going to have our website up soon, but, um, yeah, just subscribe, rate, and comment. This really helps us out. Um, this is Jack.exe, and I'll see you guys next time.